Okay, so you've learned all those major chords. Next thing we're going to talk about is seventh chords. And so a major chords, all the chords we learned last time are called triads. They're three notes. A root, a third, and a fifth makes a major chord, and a root, a flatted third, and a fifth makes a minor chord, right? Which makes it kind of sound sad. Some people think happy sounding is major, sad sounding is minor. It's another way to think about it. Today, we're gonna keep jumping up. A root, a third, a fifth, and a seventh. And this is where things get squirrely. There's basically a few kinds of seventh chords that we see a lot and a few we're gonna talk about today. Um, the first one we're gonna talk about is major seven, which is a major chord, a root, a third, a fifth, and a seventh, right? So in the key of C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. If you don't understand this by now, go back and check out the interval video that we did. So if we add a B to a C major chord, here's C. If we add the major seventh, the major seven chord's like a nice flowery, pretty sounding chord. It's a color tone that the seven, the seventh is added to it. You see it a lot in like as we move into more jazz styles and different kind of songs like that. Major seventh. Our second kind of chord we're gonna look at is called a dominant seventh, which is a major chord with a flatted seventh, meaning root, third, fifth, and flatted seventh, meaning you take the seventh scale degree down one step. Um, again, check out the intervals thing if this doesn't make sense. So if we take a C major chord and we add that seventh, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, we flat that B, here's a B flat right here. Now this dominant seventh has a, um, is a really important chord, and we'll talk about how it works a little bit another day, but you see this so much in blues and in jazz, it's very, um, very often used, uh, and it's got this kind of like bluesy kind of bite to it, right? So it's really important to train your ear to hear, oh, here's like a major seventh sound, right? And then we've got a dominant seventh sound, right? Our third seventh chord we're gonna talk about today is a minor seventh chord. And that's taking a minor chord and adding a flatted seventh to that. So a minor seventh chord, we're gonna just look at them in the open position today. Later we'll talk about all the movable shapes. I just want you to get an idea for what seventh chords are. Uh, if you, and this is on page 23 in the book, by the way. You should probably have downloaded the book by now if you haven't. Um, so if I take an E minor chord and I add a D to it, right, on the third fret of the second string, that's E, F, G, A, B, C, D, I now have an E minor seventh chord. Listen to the beginning of Heart of Gold by Neil Young. And you will hear an E minor seventh chord in action. Right? So in the open position, we have a really nice sounding E minor seven chord, a nice A minor seven chord, and a D minor seven chord. And at this point, instead of just playing you all the chords, I think you should just make download the book. It's got all these chord charts in it. It's free, looks great. Um, download it and check them out. So we've got major seven, we've got minor seven, we've got dominant seven. Right? And I would really encourage you, if you like blues or jazz, to really beef up on those um, dominant seventh chords because we're going to see them a lot. Or if you like the Beatles, or you know, they, they come up quite a bit. So, major seven, minor seven, dominant seven. Uh, hope those help. Let me know if you have any questions. We'll see you soon.